choose to come here today. You decided much, much earlier. You decided when you made your first pencil stroke, when you chose your favorite color, the day you discovered what is beautiful and what is not. The first time you were told you're talented. This is why you are here now. It's not enough just to be told. Talent is nothing until you can touch it, wear it, illuminate it, see it. When it mixes with two, three or four thousand, it is useless without sweat, tears and sleepless nights. It is no good if it only speaks to itself. Challenge it, set it on fire and rebuild it from scratch. Blindly trust it, but never totally believe it. You can't find it, but you can learn. Your talent brought you here. It's time to begin. So Istituto Marangoni was founded in 1935. So we have a very long history because we have been nurturing and enhancing talent worldwide for over 85 years. We started in Milan, Italy, but then in the last 20 years or so, we opened branches all over the world in all the major fashion design and art capitals. So Milano, then London, Paris, we went then all the way to Asia in China, Shanghai. Then in Italy, we opened up two more campuses, one in 2014, uh, which focuses on design, and then another one in uh, Firenze, Florence, which focuses on fashion and art. We then uh, opened a second one in Shenzhen, south of China, near Hong Kong, followed by India, Mumbai, and Miami, USA. Here, I would like to quickly present an overview of the pillars of the foundations that establish our, I would say, Marangoni-ness. So what makes Istituto Marangoni a unique um, school? What, what makes it different compared to other fashion, art, and design schools all over the world? So first of all, it's our Italian spirit that we like to call Italianess. It was founded in Italy, in Milan. And even if now we have over 90% of international students attending our courses all over the world, and we have open branches in all the major continents, we like to keep the Italian spirit and soul in each and every location. In Italian, we say bello and ben fatto, which means something that is beautifully made. And we like to use and to do this within the fashion, art, and design fields. So prestigious locations, as you've seen before, we have schools in all their major design, fashion, and art capitals. But what is important is we do not simply have the school in, let's say, London. The location in London itself is super important. We always have schools in the most iconic, let's say, fashion and design a district. This is because we want our students to feel, to breathe, to see uh, art, fashion and design every day on their way to the school, on their way out. We want them to be fully emerged in order to really breathe in and then being able to get inspired. Over 80% of our teachers and tutors come from industry. This is because our methodology is really, it's kind of a hands-on approach. Of course, theory is important, but we really think that practice is of paramount importance. And that is, and that is why we always hire uh, teachers and tutors from major companies. So what they're teaching to students is what they've been not just learning, but actually doing. Then in over 85 years of history, we forged important relationships with all the most important players all over the world. And this opens up opportunities to our students to forge then relationships with these brands, which of course will help the student 
to kickstart uh, his or her career once uh, they complete these studies at Instituto Marangoni. Quick overview on our brand ambassadors. So we have uh, major uh, individuals coming from industry. They could be the creative industry, the design or architecture and fashion design. So these uh, important uh, people, uh, they reunite at least uh, once a year in order to evaluate our academic offering and be sure that what we do, that what we offer is always aligned and matching what the uh, job market wants and expects students to be and to have once they complete their studies. This is a competitive advantage of Instituto Marangoni and it's the fact that the, the world is the student's playground. What do I mean by that? As you've seen at the beginning, we have campuses in all the major uh, fashion uh, and design uh, cities, but what we want to provide to our students is the possibility of experiencing, maybe not all of them, but as many as possible. So imagine this, you want to study fashion business and you start in Italy, Milan, but then you want to experience the whole European, let's say, uh, atmosphere. So you may choose to complete your studies in another country. So you start in Milan, year one and two, and then you may complete the bachelor in London. Again, creative industry is extremely globalized. Just imagine, uh, just think of fashion. So if you have the world at your disposal, why not taking advantage of it? And the fact that we give you all the, the we give you the possibility to experience each and every campus, we always suggest our students, whenever they want to, whenever they can, and if they want to do so, to start over in one city and ending up in another one. So talent has no boundaries and the world is your playground. We like to call this the, the, the cross-school experience, meaning you can start your journey in one place and finishing your journey in another one. And this, of course, will enhance your perspective and your understanding of the creative industry because especially fashion is extremely um, globalized. For what concerns the methodology, as I mentioned at the beginning, we really believe in a hands-on approach, and this is why our tutors are all professionals and they come from industries. Imagine that, for instance, now we do have a very important professor in our Firenze, Florence campus, and the professor has been working over 20 years at Gucci. Here, an overview of the accreditation of our schools. Of course, because we have campuses in different countries, the accreditation system may work differently according to uh, where the student is studying. For example, in Italy, Milan and Florence, we have AFAM courses, and this is valid for selected courses. Uh, in Paris, France, we have the CNCP accreditation, but in Paris and in London, we also have the MMU, which stands for Manchester Metropolitan University. Sometimes students ask us, what, what do you mean by Manchester Metropolitan Universities? Do we need to go to Manchester? Do we, um, do we have, like, do we have uh, teachers from Manchester coming all the way to London to teach us? Absolutely not. We are a foreign um, institution in, uh, in the UK because we are an Italian company. So what the Manchester Metropolitan University does for us is to evaluate our courses and award the accreditation. That is what, this is the only thing that university does. So there's no 
teacher coming from Manchester University and there are no, students are not required to go there, but it's, it works as a third party uh, that has to um, approve, let's say, the quality of our studies in order uh, to provide the aforementioned accreditation. In terms of the academic offer, we have a very wide, wide range of courses uh, that go from short courses all the way to postgraduate level. And the three macro areas are fashion, art, and design. When I say a wide range of courses is because we may have just online short courses, we have blended short courses, we have foundation, uh, we have BAs, we have masters, and of course we also have study abroad um, semesters. So the complete range of courses that are available to you at Instituto Marangoni, no matter if you're looking for a short or a long and complete experience. For what concerned the fashion area, Instituto Marangoni was founded and started as a fashion school about 85 years ago. So for this reason, the fashion courses are, uh, fashion studies are taught in every single campus. So from Milan all the way to Miami. For what concerns the macro area of fashion, we like to divide them into three areas. These are fashion design, fashion styling, and fashion business. So imagine fashion design on one end and all the way to the other end we have fashion business fashion design is the i would say the creative one so when people think of fashion usually they think of fashion design but this is only one part of the industry fashion business is let's say let, let's say less creative it's more about crunching numbers about budgeting it's about forecasting it's all about how to make a fashion company work in the middle, or kind of, we have fashion styling, which is a booming branch that didn't exist basically until a few uh, years ago. And it's about style innovation. It's about how to respond to the new consumer and customer's voices. Just imagine about how, what, what are the strategies to, um, to set up an, um, an, a successful e-commerce and what about uh, the social media strategy. So this would be uh, just a brief idea, just a brief overview of what fashion styling is. Design is taught in many other of our uh, campuses. Um, so design studies are taught in Italy, both in Milan and Florence. They're not taught in France, Paris, but then they're taught in uh, London, Mumbai, and in China, Shenzhen. And we have the complete range. Here the macro areas are interior design, product design, and visual design. For what concerns art, usually when people think of art, the first thing that comes to their mind is Italy, but if they go in, into much into a greater detail, then they will think of Firenze, Florence. So art studies are only taught in our uh, Firenze campus, not in, I would, say, I would say, Paris or London. You're interested in uh, multimedia arts, for instance, then Firenze or Florence is your, um, is, your, uh, is, is your place. Here, just a quick overview of the school services and laboratories. So in terms of services, we have everything from uh, computer classrooms uh, all the way to library and cafeteria. So this means that students, once they finish studying at school, when, once they complete the lesson, they can hang out at the, at the school in order to, to study, to hang out with their friends, to do research, because we have every single equipment that the student needs. And this is the same for the labs. So we have, of course, 3D printers for the 3D lab. We have an product design labs, the material lab, because of course, it will be super important for students to work on uh, textiles and garments all the way to photo studios. So imagine as we have students constantly working on assignments, projects, and workshops, we want our students to have easy accessible all the uh, services necessary for them to complete the assignments. 
As I mentioned at the beginning, the industry links are really important for us because we have been nurturing partnerships all over the world with major companies, also in the luxury sector. And what we want to give is we want to offer this um, network of relationships to our students as well. This is why from day one, we have companies coming to Instituto Marangoni and pitching specific issues or projects to students and students that then are able to create something interesting, well, then these ideas can actually be put into practice and used by brands. So here I'm going to show some examples of projects that were concretely used by uh, brands. The first one is from the square two. We have uh, bachelor students that uh, came up with an idea on how to promote the new giant sneakers from the company. And they made this video that then was actually used by the company itself to promote the sneakers. Yo, in Tianwen, who is that? Hello, I'm Nicolo. I'm Alessandro, I'm a student. Ciao a tutti, sono Giulia Bezzo, 25 anni. Mi chiamo Lorenzo Caldebue, ho 19 anni. Ciao, sono Bruno, ho 20 anni. Questo è l'album di Tentazione. Yes, Study Arts, this is my favorite book. Yeah, che è la nostra chiave per fare. Then here we have another project that students made for and other stories from the H&M group. And here probably one of my favorites. Uh, this project, we had uh, master students from the fashion promotion and fashion styling uh, courses that work together in order to create a video campaign uh, to launch the new uh, collection for the British brand Jigsaw. Another project I want to show you was made in partnership with Zara. And this is a, the project was made by our Milano students and they created a very limited edition capsule collection, which was then sold worldwide. Hello. 
l'opportunità che ti dà di reinventarti, di metterti in gioco. È il primo metodo di comunicazione che abbiamo, il metodo più veloce che abbiamo di comunicare con l'altro, è quello che mi piace anche proprio l'opportunità, diciamo, di variare ogni volta. Penso che sia un'espressione, cioè mi piace il fatto di potersi avvicinare a diversi stili diversi, interpretandoli sempre in modo personale. Ci metto sempre del mio, diciamo che vado sempre un po' sulla strada che più piace a me. Sono molto felice di questo perché è comunque una mia identità il mettere una virgola di me stesso o, qual- o comunque qualcosa che faccia parte di me, nel mio modo di vestire. La moda l'ho sempre vista un po' come la scultura, perché alla fine era come quando facevo il progetto della scultura e poi la realizzavo in tridimensionale e, e quindi uguale nella moda, quello che disegniamo poi lo realizziamo e lo vedi indossato su delle persone. Sarei un po' come sarà il capo di vino e come posso realizzarlo nel modo in cui io me lo immagino e come la realizzo in testa. Then here, for instance, our students, they launched a unique project with the Maison Margiela in occasion of the presentation of the uh, Autumn Winter um, 2019 collection. And here you can see uh, some pictures of how they created and how they made together the, um, the store for this specific launch. Then talking about um, surface and textile design, here are some of our master students. They work together with a very important Italian brand that works with ceramics, Lea Ceramiche. And here we can see another project made together with the company Flaminia uh, for what concerns a specific product design project. So I would like to go back one second to the fact that our tutors come from the marketplace that have been working with uh, companies for many years. This is because we want them to um, teach practical and usable concepts to our students. Because again, once they finish, they have to be ready for the world out there. Here, I would also like to talk about the scholarships. So every year we're talking about over 2 million euros of uh, scholarships available to all our students. So European and non-European. Um, we usually suggest students to apply as soon as the uh, scholarship competitions are available. Why? Again, fashion design and arts are really competitive environments. So, of course, you can imagine there is a high level of competition in order to acquire this scholarship from talented students all over the world. Of course, we forged important relationships with brands, but then we have uh, the possibility for our students to attend the most important and most prestigious international events. And this could be fashion show and degree shows, which of course occur in the most important uh, fashion capitals of the world, which is great because it's exactly where we have our campuses. So we're talking about Milano, London, uh, London, Paris, and so on. And of course, we're talking about both fashion and design. Again, here there are competitions. So talented students are given a chance to present their own work or to attend these exhibitions in order again to forge important relationships. Thank <laughs> you. 
So again, industries seek talents and we have strong links with the industries. What do I mean by that? Well, Instituto Marangoni is a very important source of recruitment for companies all over the world. And here you can see all the companies we are working with. And I mean, it's really all of them. Some of these are not just, let's say, fashion and design and art, but they're really like luxury, which is the highest segment within the industry. So what about job placement rate? In 2016, we ran a, an analysis together with Deloitte and they found out that 94% is our job placement rate and over 80% are graduates that then work in the leading industry, so in the highest segment. And the highest segment here means luxury. Now I would like to show you some of our alumni. In total, we are talking about about 50,000 alumni that for the past almost, almost one century have been studying at Instituto Marangoni and then they have been expressing their own art all over the world. So here we're going to show you some story of success. Always, it's always like I feel like I will have heart attack. <laughs> so. I think we were really lucky to have such a great time at Marangoni. Anything's possible. Follow your dream, create what you love, and look what's impossible. I would love to be a student again. I would easily do the whole course again. This fantastic school and this fantastic job and career that I expect you after uh, will always pay you back in uh, satisfaction. One very important thing that we do at Instituto Marangoni is, as I said at the beginning, we enhance talents globally. Every year we select the most talented student from all over the world, from any of our campuses, and I'm talking about a master student. And what we do is we kickstart his or her career. So we are going to sponsor completely the launch of his or her first collection or for instance, fashion show. So one person from all over the world, from any campus, it could be from Shenzhen, it could be from London, we're going to support this student to start successfully his or her adventure. What I think is the future for fashion, it's quite difficult to tell because so much is happening, it's quite interesting. And as a new designer coming up, it's really interesting to figure out what's really important nowadays. But I do feel like it's getting way more open to different ways of expressing yourself. You can definitely take chances and take new steps in the direction you really wanted to go. 
So Isatu Tumaraguni has helped me support my journey from the start. So even now being able to actually show an entire collection of 37 looks in Milan during Milan Fashion Week would not have happened if Isatu Tumaraguni hasn't given me this prize. So they have really been a big help in my journey. So I'm really, really grateful that they have seen something in my collection and support what I do and my dreams. So again, we nurture and we enhance talents worldwide. So if you're ready to start your journey in fashion, art and design, we are ready to welcome you. Thank you for your attention.